what are your feelings about the malt kiln having been dismantled now? Um, I think it's going to be good for the town actually. Um, it's become a bit of an eyesore, a bit derelict. Um, and really particularly a town of Louth with such a uh, stunning landscape. Um, it was a bit of a blot on the landscape. So uh, yeah, so sort of pleased to see it go really. Um, I'm pretty pleased it's gone to be honest. I've been looking at that for 15 years and it's, um, yeah, finally get a bit of daylight in the afternoons. It's about time it's been stood there for a long time and it was, uh, it's a hideous sight. So I'm glad it's gone. But it was a good landmark when you were outside of town. I suppose it was, but ugly. <laughs> you know, that's about what you can say for it really, ugly. So uh, it would be a good thing when it's something else is built there. I'm absolutely delighted it's been demolished. It was an environmental obscenity, an eyesore, and the town is best off without it. There's a little bit of history that's just disappeared off the horizon. Um, it's hopefully going to be a change for the best, though. It just seems a shame it came down, really, an old uh, part of Louth. Um, I suppose it's good in some ways to have a supermarket coming here, but you've got so many good traders. Um, it seems a shame, really, because it's, it's got such character. It's history. It's the town's history. You have such a beautiful town centre with everything that you would need, every shop, everything is available. Why do you want that as well? You know, will that take trade from the town into a supermarket? I think that, that would be a shame if it did. There are far too many supermarkets in this town already. Do we need more consumerism? Would have made a nice skate park. It would have made a great skate park. Yep, BMX, skating, scooters, the lot. That would have been something for the kids to get the teeth into. Well, we've got plenty of supermarkets around, so probably not probably the best of choice, but then the skate park, it might have been better for the kids around here because there's not much for us to do. Well, I've been told that um, if you stood on the top of the ABM, and uh, if you travelled due east at that altitude, you'd uh, not meet anything taller until you got to the Ural Mountains in Russia. I'm not sure how true that is, but uh, that's what they said. To be honest, I think it's a shame to see it come down. OK. Because it's part of Laos heritage. You know, it shows you how much the town's expanded since the old days. Yeah, but they weren't really doing an awful lot with it, though, was it? Yeah. It was just a derelict building. No, but so. it, you know, it reminds me of when I was a kid and it was all a working factory and all that and you know, it was part of the hustle, hustle and bustle of Louth. When you're travelling at the top of Kennick there, it's nice to see just the, just the church and not that great big white thing just stuck up there, so yeah. Did you like it as a landmark? Yeah, it was a very vivid landmark. But you know, nice as a church, opinions yeah. differ, don't they? <laughs> <laughs>